everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm Justin. We are Prego Italia, living our Italian dream. We're American expats, formerly from California, now living full-time in beautiful Scalia, Italy. Today we are at the base of Centro Storico, and we are at the Retro Cafe. Yeah. Yummy. We're going to be meeting <laughs> our friend Karina for a nice... Uh, a cornetti <laughs> yes. and a cappuccino so that's gonna so be I fun. am gonna say that this video is not all done in one day <laughs> it's a video that's been done over multiple different days we are doing a video on delicious local foods in our town so right. we've went around to breakfast lunches dinners and even show you a few of our things that we've cooked at home yeah, because absolutely. some of you probably don't believe we actually eat at home <laughs> but we do <laughs> and we did this video because we've realized that in comments in past all of you guys have said at one point or another hey we really like seeing the food in your videos. Mm -hmm. We really like it when you guys go out and show food. So we figured that we'd do a video. Just so we thought food. we'd show you all the food around Scalia that we've had during the, I guess, of course, probably a good week or so. Yeah. So we'll show you some <laughs> breakfast, some of our favorite places, some lunches, some dinners, and like I said, some things at home. So please enjoy, and it all looks delicious. So Yay. hey. Go get some snacks in the fridge ahead of time. It'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to end this little intro by saying the same thing we always do, which is please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. It completely helps us grow this channel, and we are so thankful when you do that. And keep the comments coming. We love to read and reply to them all. We yes, love them, love them, love them. And we love you all, too. Enjoy the episode. We're with our lovely friend Karina. You know we love our Karina time. Hey. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> we're at Retro Cafe having our delicious breakfast. And you got something different. What did you get, Karina? I got today the strudel with the almond and the orange. It's Ooh. something new. I'll try it. So I think so, uh, that it should be delicious. It looks good. Enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm having cappuccino. We all are actually. And well, Michael's having a Coca-Cola Zero today. I got a crema amarena. And Michael got a crema amarena. Yay! Delicious! <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> We're at Mary Lou. Yay. We got something different than Mary our Lou. Cornetti crema amarena. So, Michael, you stab the names. Okay, I'm going to start with yours first. Oh, so yes. I, okay. Um, can tell what you got. Um, <laughs> This is a uh, Corina uh, de la Costa. It is um, uh, basically, um, we've been told that a lot of American people just call them um, lobster tail because tail that's and what it looks with like. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cream, amazing. And Flaky, then, delicious, like oh, a phyllo dough. Yes, and then um, the Justin little Zeppeli is like I, what we have for the San Giuseppe Festival, but a mini version, yes. right? Yes, and then I got one of those too. Mm -hmm. And then I got a uh, dolce with apricot. So Yummy. Very nice. And our cappuccinos, mm -hmm. of course. And then they do have these all year. So these are the large ones that you get for that um, San Giuseppe Festival. We're thrilled to see them year round Yay. in the little mini version. And yummy because yes. they're so delicious. Well, anytime that I can get any type of treat that has amarena or cherry, yes, I'm super happy. And I love <laughs> like the yummy custardy, yummy cream is so delicious. So, yum, enjoy. Since we're doing a foodie episode, we're at Pastateria de Rosa, and we, um, Silvana, the owner, baked a lovely pie today. It's an amarena pie, it's an amarade um, rose. I can't even run. <laughs> All I know is she brought it out to us very proud and yummy, yummy. We cannot resist. So. I'm learning Italian. It doesn't mean I know everything right now, but, but it's it so good. yummy. Well, we're just showing you all the fun things. And yes, you're going to wonder and you're going to think, God, they must have giant fat asses coming up with all these sweets. But we do swear that this video has been done over the course of a few days and yes, not on one day. We decided just around town for like basically the week just to film a bunch of fun <laughs> treats and goodies and food and share it with you. So enjoy. Uh, torta limone. Mmm. Strudel di mele, strudel di mele, Yum. E, torta, crema e amarena. Delicioso. E più ci sono questi che si chiamano eh, cartucce, sono molto molto belli e molto molto buoni. Poi abbiamo delizie di mele, mm -hmm. frolle napoletane, sfogliatelle. Meringa, crostata alla marena. Yes, that's what we had, delicious. Her albicocca. She just baked those fresh and it was so yummy. Pasta di mandorla. Yay. Pasta frolla con marmellata per la colazione. I vari dolcini. 
e poi abbiamo le pastiere un attimo te la vado a prendere ti amo Silvana <laughs> oops she's got something in the back she wants to show us Silvana is adorable we love her and we come to see her all the time Michael and I just think she is a doll oh <laughs> Michael she's got something oops, oops. fresh Baba. Oh, you have rum. E pastiera. Oh, fresh out of the oven. <laughs> She's delicious. Ti amo, Silvana. Baci, baci. Grazie. And just so we prove we do actually eat breakfast at home, Michael devoured his uh, already. Mine's already, you know, <laughs> taken care of. But I make <laughs> uh, eggs, and I use uh, potatoes and make a, like a uh, pan fried tomatoes. We have toast with jelly, and instead of bacon, I have a, um, it's a speck. I'll be right back with the name of that in just a moment, but it cooks up leaner than bacon. But we do have traditional breakfast, and Michael grab my orange juice. Well, I'll show that, and we have orange juice as well. So <laughs> we enjoy traditional um, breakfast. Uh, Italians, as you know, have sweets for breakfast, but sometimes we crave a heartier breakfast that we make at home. And this might be a helpful tip for some folks, and I pick it up at Eurospin. Uh, this is what I get instead of bacon. It says a beck affettato. I think I spelled that or sounded that out correctly. So it's a leaner cut. Um, it still has the strip of fat on the side, but it cooks up great as bacon. They do have traditional bacon, but we find that too fatty for our needs. So this is a great alternative and it's more lean and quite delicious when you pan fry it. very popular store in town that we also shop at is Conad. And we have a very large, uh, rather new one in town, and they feature a wonderful cafeteria. The prices at Conad are a little higher than the other markets. They're kind of more of an upscale, but they have delicious selections of meats and cheeses in the deli. Absolutely. Yummy, you can grab anything for a quick lunch there. But what we like for lunch when we want a quick lunch and without having to go to a full service restaurant, we go to the cafeteria. Hey, yes, the and cafeteria you, has yep. such amazing it's selections. It's just under uh, seven euros. You could actually dine inside, but we prefer to dine in the outdoor area. They have a patio set up and you have delicious selections. Of course, look at those meats and cheeses first before we take you over. And, ooh, and fresh fish. Ooh, to get distracted in here with all the treats. But here we come to the cafeteria and yummy, yummy. Um, you, uh, it gets very crowded. They actually open up at 11.30 in the yes, morning. So do. that's a great time if you want an earlier lunch. And you get to pick a selection. You get one meat entree, then you get a pasta, and these are the meats. There's chicken available today that changes daily, and the sausages, and lasagna. We love the lasagna here. It's a great choice. Or you can pick a fresh pasta. And there are many pasta selections and sauces, and they'll prepare that fresh for you. It also comes with um, delicious fresh bread, and you get to pick your first entree as a pasta. Then you get to pick your second, which is a meat entree, and then you get a vegetable. And, and we love the um, roasted potatoes. Today, what we chose is this is a uh, fried chicken breast with the roasted potatoes, the bread, and for the second entree, we have a sausage, sausage. with a baked broccoli. It is so good with and the lasagna. cheese. And lasagna is always a go-to for us there, and a nice out our patio it's going to get crowded afternoon we get there about 11 30 when everything's piping hot and fresh right out of the oven yes it's when it comes to conad you want to get there as close to 11 30 as you can the lines because get huge. if you do any waiting you're going to be stuck in a line that is great deal very, very under large. seven <laughs> euros 6.90 and you get this big huge lunch we usually even take it home and have leftovers so <laughs> and the sodas are available or any of your favorite beverages even beer if you like beer they have available yes so can can't go wrong with Conad's cafeteria, and that's every day too, um, every day of the week. Hey everybody, we are so fortunate. We have wonderful viewers who we've met and they're instant friends. We just love them, they're so kind. This yes. is Jean. And go ahead and introduce yourself. So I guess I'll Oscar. let you tell Oscar. Oscar. Yes, Oscar and Jean, and they're I'm gonna let them do the introduction. Yes. <laughs> We're from North Carolina, and uh, we've been in Italy about two weeks now. Uh, we were here earlier in the year and bought property, and so we're back to get it renovated and get moved in and to spend the rest of this year here and, and years to come. So very we're nice. very excited. Well, we're so glad you reached out. You yeah, guys are lovely. Forward to, I agree with everything that Jean said. We're looking forward to uh, renovating our property, and uh, I think we chose this place for many, many reasons. I think culture definitely one. 
uh, cuisine and people and so on and so forth. So we're hoping that for whatever time that we have here, you know, we're going to enjoy every minute of it. So. Calabria then, is friends beautiful. like you guys. It, it, so. is, it is. Calabria is gorgeous. It is. You know, you've got the the blue sea, and you've got the mountains. So you're surrounded by beauty. Yes. I mean, it's like everywhere you look. It is. My and perception plus just the Italian focus on quality <laughs> and beauty makes just everyday life. We Pretty so nice agree. One. Yes, we do. And what did you get for lunch today? Oh, no, Bomba. Vegetarian. No, no, oh, oh, you got the oh, you got the vegetarian yeah, one. I got the vegetarian. Yes. One. Oh, okay. grazie. And Michael got pasta. something different today. Michael. I did. I so I had said that I only get pasta carbonara here, but y'all have seen me eat that so many times. So I got pasta con polo e funghi. Ooh, um, yes, that looks so, delicious. Michael, you know, you guys get to see and that. And Jean got a bomba too with the sausage. You can flip it around a little if you'd like. Here's your plate. But, but oh, <laughs> the paper is oh, up oh, on this oh, side. She didn't oh, notice. Okay. Oh, yummy, yummy! The famous sandwich. Looks great. Fillets siciliani. Delicious. And you got the vegetarian version. See, folks, they have a vegetarian version available too. How delicious is that? Let's go. Yummy. Well, everybody enjoy, and you guys are lovely, and we'll see you many times ahead. I'm sure we'll film sure, yes. another time we hang out. You guys are so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Very charming couple. And, of course, we love Tari Ristorante and Centro Storico. It is so yummy. I always am a fan of veal. The veal uh, scallopini limone is delicious. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Can't go wrong with lemon and veal. Perfect combo, and the french fries are wonderful here. Yes, I will say the french fries at Tari are amazing. Um, the lingale is amazing as well. It's got parmesan and sausage in it. It is pure heaven. Yeah, it's almost like the um, calabresi, um, but it's their version with the parmesan sauce, which it adds a nice uh, touch to it. That's one of the new menu items they have here, yes, which is does. really good. I enjoy that one a lot, too, if I'm not craving my veal. <laughs> but of course he was. <laughs> <laughs> and then always their bread's yummy. The owner created a coffee drink just for us that you should try. Cafe Francesco. everybody we had a busy day running errands so we decided to have our dinner out this evening Yay. and we are at la playa we haven't <laughs> taken you here before we not brought you here yet <laughs> and for our appetizer we're having our margarita pizza and we have our entrees coming but we have our delicious house wine and our sparkling aqua frizzante absolutely we'll mm -hmm. show you the entrees when they're here and our margarita looks absolutely delicious to start us off <laughs> yummy Okay, Michael, that looks like a delicious entree. <laughs> Tell really everybody does. what you got. It looks familiar. Okay, yes, everybody knows this is uh, my favorite pasta uh, shape. Um, I got I got fusli a la calabrese. Uh, so yummy. Yes. <laughs> Cannot wait to dig in. <laughs> delicious. And everybody can guess what I got. <laughs> I got a veal, bistec of a mm -hmm. Delicious veal. It looks so yummy tonight. Can't wait to enjoy that. Go ahead and tell us what it is like. Okay, hold on. It looks great. I love the presentation. I know, the presentation's so pretty. And we were just talking to the gentleman who um, made the pizza, and we said that uh, it's very funny. We moved here for the pizza, <laughs> which is not entirely <laughs> true. We moved here for the pizza. pasta as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yum. Mi piace il cibo. So, I think he gets his Italian when he's drunk. It's like the I Love Lucy episode. I pretend I have my little I Love Lucy, the short Italian haircut wig. Mi piace il cibo. <laughs> That's how I learn Italian. Keep the wine and limoncello away from this man. And Lucy the Italian <laughs> movie episode. Now I have to beat up little Nona's in the wine vat. Oops. Okay, since we're doing like a dedicated foodie going out to restaurants for breakfast, lunches, and dinners, we thought we'd show you one of our dinner evenings between. I didn't prepare it on camera, but we have my delicious sliced steak here. If you remember my Eurospin shopping, I purchased that with the arugula. I add tomatoes to it and um, balsamic um, vinegar glaze. It's absolutely delicious. A little um, sprinkled Parmesan cheese on it. It's absolutely wonderful. 
This is something the restaurants actually serve here a lot, so it's yes. very popular. <laughs> delicious, love it. And I uh, made delicious gnocchi, gnocchi. with uh, pomodoro sauce. Michael was just feeling like something light, and he's not a huge steak fan. So he I'm not a steak fan in any way. <laughs> he requested <laughs> gnocchis and pomodoro formaggio. So made a little for me on the side. So delicious, delicious example of one of our evening dinners. Nothing too fancy, but it's But you know what? It's still food in Calabria. <laughs> it is. So we thought we'd throw this in amongst all our restaurant visits. Just so you guys know that we actually do eat at home. <laughs> we do. Okay, after all the nice spring rainy days and nights, I was craving pizza yes. and Michael too. So we got dinner pizza, Il Casado. I have the delicious Diavola. Diavola, which would be um, a very equivalent to a pepper, spicy pepperoni. So if you're from North America, Diavola, when you're in our area, you would order it and be very pleased. And here's Michael. I have the same, it's just yep. without I the arugula. <laughs> yes, I got mine my favorite. Oh, I'm just drooling over it. Doesn't that look delicious? And may I also note our house wine is only two euro fifty for a half liter, which is what you see. We've not had any yet, so that's the portion, and you can get a whole liter for five euros. So that is amazing. Yes. Bon appetito, Michael. Bon appetito. Yum yum yum. So delicious. And of course, a nice aqua, aqua frizzante, delicioso. Oh, I could just stare myself. Eat with your eyes, everyone, because yes, it's better than it even looks. And simply because you guys say that you like the sea views that we post in all of our videos. Who doesn't like a beautiful sea view? <laughs> and in Scalea, we have a gorgeous beach. We figured that we would take the time to show off that seed that we have come to love so much. And it I'll... may not be food, but you can still eat it up with your eyes. <laughs> there you go. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> mm, I hope you're all absolutely starving. Did you honestly have to run to the fridge and get some snacks during this video? It's okay if you did. <laughs> let us know in the comments and let us know your favorite things and what looked absolutely out of this world delicious to you. Yes. And, uh, you know, this video, when I edit it, I'm sure I'm going to be doing so and going, God, I want more food. <laughs> but, you know, that's just me. Um, I, our daily <laughs> life, you get to see what we eat morning, noon, and night. So enjoy. Absolutely. And when you come here, you'll be amazed at the great prices and the healthy food. I must say here, food, um, we were discussing, even Italian-American food is very heavy, um, you know, with the influence, of course, over the um, many, many, many years of um, Italian cooking being Americanized right. and stuff. We actually saw a documentary on it. It was very yes. interesting about Italian immigrants um, in America and how things like uh, spaghetti and meatballs and pepperoni pizza became, you know, a thing and fettuccine Alfredo and all the things that you won't find in that form in Italy. And yes, and so, mm -hmm. you know, just let you guys um, know because we did see it on the video mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I don't think we've discussed it here, but spaghetti and meatballs, not going to find it in Italy. No, it's you'll not, find you'll the find meatballs, meatballs on the side. You'll yes. find spaghetti, but you will not find them together. Hey, if you have to put them together, order them separate. No, no, <laughs> no, no. You'll, actually, you could do some improvisation. So um, you'll find when you no. <laughs> pepperoni pizza, come here in Diavolo or, you know, it's an actual order of salami if you're out of a different area. But usually Diavolo is um, the spicy um, salami, you'll find it cut in different ways sometimes. Right. Um, you know, that's quite easy to find, and that'll give you your your fix on your uh, American pepperoni pizza, because as you know, pepperoni here would be a, like a bell pepper. So, <laughs> so that's a little fun tip there. I'm sure you've already heard that one before. And another, uh, another little tip on this foodie vlog, mm -hmm. do not come here and order a uh, 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 fettuccine Alfredo, yes. because you won't get it. Yeah, that name, that's American. <laughs> See, thing, I've so. forgotten it so well that I forgot and what it was called. When you come, Diet Coke would be actually, if you have to have your Diet Coke, you won't find that here. I think it's outlawed because of the chemicals, actually, but you'll find the uh, Coca-Cola Coca Zero, Zero Zucchero, and then you'll find other brands like store brands, so just look for Zero um, Zucchero, uh, for no sugar, so it's um, the equivalent to our um, Coke Zero back um, in America, so it's delicious. You'll get used to it quick, uh, so don't come looking for your Diet Coke so, you know, or Diet Pepsi. Uh, but um, so it's funny um, when you're in America and you're ordering Italian food, it isn't. But, you know, when well, you... Well, <laughs> luckily, there's no Olive Garden here, folks. So don't come with your expectations as if that's your level of Italian menu that you're you expecting. You will be blown away it, in a very yes, good way. The food is healthy, light. It's olive um, oil-based, delicious fresh olive oil-based. Um, 
you won't find a lot of heavy butters and creams and stuff, but of course you will find some dishes with creams and butters, don't get me wrong, but it's very light Mediterranean diet. You feel very healthy. Uh, your sauces aren't even really drenched in that, you know, tons of Say sauce. Say that again. <laughs> drenched. And, drenched. You know, and stuff. It's just a nice, light, delicious feeling. And try pasta carbonara. It's delicious. Oh, yummy. And just so many wonderful things. The vegetables here, oh my goodness, absolutely delightful. So we love it and you find yourself feeling very healthy and um, you'll actually, over time, you'll just, you'll start really feeling the difference in the Mediterranean yes, diet all absolutely. around you. And then when you need non-Italian food, you can find burgers easy and you can actually, as we've shown before, you can find Chinese food and such. It's Even here. pretty easy to find, yeah. <laughs> Sushi, different mm -hmm. things like that. So when you have to have something different, um, you can make a trek up to Salerno or um, Cosenza and find McDonald's. And, and by <laughs> the way, the McDonald's here are not like American McDonald's. They're actually delicious. Oh my God, you can yes. get stuffed olives. <laughs> yes, and the meat is good here at the McDonald's. It's actually something we've tried to once in Salerno and we were shocked. We'll do a video next time we do Salerno and yes. McDonald's of the difference. It's night and day difference to us. So even Italians do McDonald's better, <laughs> go figure. So it's a lot of to do with the, the good, healthy, no hormone, chemical, you know, American stuff. Um, you know, they, they don't do that here. So you'll find a nice, healthy, healthy way of living. And you'll, you'll notice the difference. Maybe that's why we're so perky. <laughs> Oops. But, or it might be the wine and limoncello. Yeah, yeah. Or all the caffeine from the great cappuccinos and such. But anyway, we'll let you go now, folks. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode and hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And we're going to end this video the same way we always do with saying bachi bachi. Mwah. We and love you all. Bachi bachi, bachi everybody. Dream. Thank you Ciao. for spending your time with us. Love you all. Hey everybody, it's official. Prego Italia merchandise is here. So please visit the website shown here to get your hands on some Prego Italia gear. Hey everyone, so we have exciting news. We are now on Patreon and you can find the link to that right here below. There'll be the info for you to find us, Patreon. We actually, in advance, wanna thank you very much for your patronage. Thank um, you. Your support will enable us to grow this channel to where we hope it gets to be and also enable us to travel throughout Italy and share many more experiences with you. So thank you in advance. Bachi bachi. Bachi.